So someone on my podcast asked a question, how many eggs can I eat per day? Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is um, when you actually buy eggs, you'll see them in many different uh, labels and packages, cage-free eggs or free range or natural eggs or eggs uh, fed vegetarian feed. This really means nothing because cage-free means they're outside the cage, but they're still in the barn. Uh, free range, again, the definition is very limited. Who knows what that means? Natural, there's no real legal definition of what natural means. I mean, what would be not like an artificial egg? I don't understand that. And then we have uh, vegetarian feed, which only tells you is that you could feed soybeans and corn, which are both GMO. We don't want that. We want pasture raised, okay? Um, pasture raised has a definition of out in the pasture and the grass. That's where we want them living and eating grass and bugs and things like that. And we definitely want organic on top of that. So we want organic and pasture raised, not pasteurized, okay? We want pasture raised. Now, uh, the, the cool thing about eggs is they have a lot of nutrition, tons of fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, um, amazing amounts of vitamin A, vitamin K2, vitamin E, omega-3 fatty acids, high quality protein. It's like, a, it's like a complete perfect food. It has B vitamins. The only vitamin it doesn't have is vitamin C. And that's why we need to eat other things too, like salads and things like that. It even has lutein and xanthin, which are very powerful phytonutrients or antioxidants, specifically to repair the any potential damage that occurs in the artery walls or the eyes. And so if we have a repair action right here, the cholesterol in the eggs are not gonna accumulate. So even though eggs have cholesterol, um, your body makes cholesterol a lot, like 3000 milligrams. So when you eat more, your body makes less. And you're gonna actually have higher amounts of good cholesterol as well. So having more cholesterol is not gonna be damaging, especially if you have the antioxidants to protect the wall of the arteries because the problem has never been cholesterol in the first place. The problem is oxidative damage on the artery wall, which then the cholesterol comes as a band-aid to heal it, okay? Cholesterol has never been the villain. Cholesterol is needed to support brain and nerve function and all the cell walls. Cholesterol is needed to make bile and vitamin D. Cholesterol is needed to make hormones. So there are more problems with low cholesterol than there is high cholesterol. So how many eggs can you eat per day? As many as you want. I have four eggs every day. You can have more. You could have 10 eggs a day. It's not gonna be a problem. Thanks for watching. So I hope you're coming to the Keto Health Summit coming up in October. So I wanna quickly comment on what we're gonna do that's different from other conventions, okay? The problem with these other conventions is they give you information overload, okay? It's so much data that you're basically swimming in a sea of information. Uh, we're gonna do things very differently. We're only gonna cover the most important things that make a huge difference. Now, there are three very powerful strategies that we're gonna be talking about at the summit that you will not find in any of my YouTube videos. Number one is on memory. I'm gonna be showing you something very cool to dramatically increase your memory and concentration that's gonna blow you away. And number two, I'm gonna show you how to increase your stress tolerance so you are completely calm all the time, all right? And number three, and most importantly, if you have a slow metabolism, if you've dieted for a long time and everything is kind of just really slow, I'm gonna show you how to get complete control over your metabolism so you can literally turn up the dial as high as you want and control as much weight as you want to lose. And these three things are just a tiny bit of what you're gonna learn in the summit. So click the link below, get signed up, and I will see you in October.